Mister, could you get down on the ground? What? I didn't do anything wrong. Well, according to a report from a teenager, she claimed that you were involved in a robbery at the Los Angeles pawn shop and stole over $89,000 worth of diamond rings. What? Oh, come on. He didn't do it. He wasn't anywhere near a diamond shop. Get in the dang truck right now. But I really didn't do anything like that. I'm not like those kind of people. What in the world is wrong with you two? You let go of my boyfriend this freaking instant. You young girl, get in the truck also. No, we're not going anywhere until you let go of my boyfriend. Get your butt in the dang truck right now, or we will carry you inside. No way. We've known Andrew for so long and the last thing that he would do is commit a stupid crime like this. Look, we're not gonna tell you again to get in the truck right now. Hey, what are you doing? Come on guys, let's get out of here. Oh no you don't. Hey! How many times do we have to tell you that Andrew is innocent? Seriously. There is something wrong with the both of you. Get off me. Let. Me. Go. Oh, you are not going anywhere. No. Now everyone, this is your final warning to get inside the truck right this instant. Are you serious? This is so unacceptable. This is such a good fact. Totally unacceptable. Please have a He's out there. Andrew. Andrew. Let's out of here. Let's out of here now. This is the last two minutes. You're trapped. No. No. Let me out. Let me see Andrew, right now. Stay in the back of the truck, unless you want to end up like your nasty boyfriend. No, 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 no. Let me out. Okay. Screw relax. you. Relax. Screw you. I want to see Andrew. Calm down. Calm down. But my boyfriend is being kidnapped. How can I calm down? I'm not asking. I'm Stay in the truck and shut the heck up. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Just shut the heck up. Alright guys, are you all ready? Yup, we're all in our pajamas and we're all comfy and ready. Are you ready too? Yes, I can't wait to see Andrew fail the lie detector test and get locked up for good. I even got popcorn for all of us, some candy, some soda, and even ordered a pizza to celebrate. Great Lou. That must be the pizza guy. I'll get the door. Pizza delivery. Yes please, I'll carry it. Your total is $29.38. Okay, I have $30, but I'll just give you $25. Um, ma'am, you have the right amount. You can't just be $4.38 short. Well then, you should have shown up here 45 minutes ago. For your information, I got it here 25 minutes later, and you're still required to pay the total price. Whatever then, here's the rest of the money. Thank you very much. Oh well, guess some people don't have time to say thank you anymore. Never mind then. Alright guys, I have the pizza here. Great. I got the GNN news coverage on the TV. I can't wait to see the look on everyone's face. This is gonna be so entertaining. We all agree. Alright, let's watch. This is cozy. This really is. Hey look, there's the first star of the night. Wow, it's so big and bright. What if I should make a wish? I will. Go for it, Lucky. Okay, here I go. Starlight, star bright. First star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. I wish me and Moxie can stay together all the time. Wow. That was so beautiful. Look at that. A shooting star. 
Ooh, wow, it's fast. The galaxy is always so beautiful and sparkling. I wonder how many stars are they? I would say like a million of them. Um, there's no such thing as a chromium. I know, I just made it up. Hey look, there's a big dipper. Where? Right next to the moon. Oh, I see it. There it is. Looks cool. What is I to see? Pudgy? Yes, my dear. Whoa there. What's going on, Wage? Get in here quick. You got to see this. It's about Andrew. What about him? Just look. Today on GNN, a young teenager named Andrew Orozco has been accused of stealing over $89,000 worth of diamonds in Los Angeles. That's right, Paul. The rest of Andrew's crew members are in the Los Angeles prison television room where they will be watching Andrew take a lie detector test. And if he fails the lie detector test, he could be locked up in jail. With the possibility of a death sentence as well. What? Oh dear, this is bad. What's gonna happen now? What's going to happen to him now? I think Andrew could possibly be on the death row right about now. No way! This is impossible. Guys, everything they said about Andrew is an outright lie. There's no way Andrew would fail this test. Wait guys, I just realized that Lou hasn't been back home for three whole days. Oh yeah, that's right. I wonder where he could be? We don't know. Look, now is not the time to focus on Lou. We have to focus on how we are going to help free Andrew. He is in danger and if he gets executed, it will be our fault. Moxie's right. I'm going to call Joan right away and tell him about what's going on. Hello. Jill Wan, I have terrible news. Andrew and his crew are being separated because some bodyguard claimed that Andrew stole over $89,000 worth of jewelry. What? Yup, you heard me correctly. It was just reported on the news today. Are you freaking kidding me? Jill Wan, what is going on here? Hold on, Ox. I'll put you on speaker so Josephine can listen. What is happening, Ox? Josephine, we have a big problem. Andrew and his crew are separated, because some bodyguards claim that he stole over $89,000 worth of jewelry. What? Yeah. Hold up a second. What is it, Mandy? I'm trying to get in touch with Andrew and his crew. I called each of them like five times and no answer. What? This is terrible. What's going on, Ox? Joan and Josephine, Mandy has tried to call Andrew and his friends, but there was no answer. We need the both of you to figure out something to help free Andrew and his crew. We're on it. Okay, I fear that this mission cannot wait until morning. You're right. What's going on? What's all the yelling about? Andrew is in great danger. Some bodyguards accused him of stealing over $89,000 worth of jewelry. And now he's going to take a lie detector test. And if he fails, he's going to be locked up and executed. Oh dear, whatever is wrong with Andrew and his crew, it's probably something really scary. Don't worry, whatever they're doing, we will stop it. Joe Wong, you need to get your laptop up for more information. There might be footage of Andrew and his crew. This mission can wait no longer. Uh-oh. This isn't good. The video shows Andrew being unconscious and dragged into a jail cell. This is not good at all. We're going to need to call in for some reinforcements for investigations. I'm on it. What is going on? What in the world?
Greetings, are you Andrew Orozco? Um, yeah. Your point being, my name is Bob Williams. I'm a flipper Frank. This is terrible. I can't believe this is happening. Don't worry, Lucy. I'm sure Andrew is really smart, and his brain knows well. I'm sure he is going to pass. So far, this is going well according to the plan. I agree with you, babe. All right, let's begin. Okay, Andrew, here's your first question. Did you ever go to the Los Angeles pawn shop? No. Are you from Beyond City? Yes. Were you ever involved in a crime? No. Is your bully Viley Anderson? Yes. Wait, Billy. Mommy? Were you involved in robbing over $89,000 worth of jewelry at the jewelry store? What? No. What made you think that? Yes or no? Ugh. No. All right then. Now let me ask you this question. Does this look like you? No. All right, test is finished. I'm now going to print out the results. This is starting to get nerve-wracking. I agree with you, Mandy. I hope he didn't fail. Okay, Andrew, here are the results. They were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they have claimed that you, Andrew Orozco, Did not tell the truth. What? 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 Yes. Here we go. Andrew failed? You've got to be kidding me. This can't be right. He is smart. How could he fail? What kind of examiner is he? Stay here until the security guards arrive. Wait. Get back here. I believe that the results show that I told the truth. This is ridiculous. This is not good at all. Come on guys, hurry up. Let's get this over with. Where are we going? You're going to the execution chamber where you will be executed. What? Listen, the examiner is a liar. I did tell the truth. I was not involved in the robbery at the jewelry store. Hey, come on. I did nothing wrong. Let go of me. Shut the hell up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Seriously guys, this is completely uncalled for. I did nothing wrong. I promise. This must be some kind of scam or something. Oh shut up and just get prepared to die. Oh my doll. No. No! No please. Somebody do something. Andrew, no. Moxie, calm down here. Everything is going to be alright, Moxie. I'm sure you can get out of this. <laughs> Any last words, Andrew, before you get executed? Help me, please. All right, Bob, start the countdown. Andrew Orozco will be executed in 10, Goodbye, 9, I'll miss you 8, so much. 7, I can't 6, watch. 5, 4, Bye 3, Andrew. 2, 1. What was that? I don't know. It must have been a blackout. But that means the execution switch must have been turned off. Bump, bump, bump. Can you hear us? Hey, what is going on? Is this a blackout or something? The real question is, is Andrew okay?
Who are you guys?